Over the years, there have been various manufacturing and launching of satellites. South Korea is interested in growing more spy satellites in North Korea and setting up its own aerospace technology and reconnaissance capabilities. Aside from the first homegrown satellite launched by North Korea, the country has a new contract with SpaceX to launch five spy satellites between 2023 and 2025. In April 2022, South Korea signed a contract with SpaceX to launch its own spy satellites into low Earth orbit from the United States. It is a subsidiary of the Defense Ministry's 425 projects that was launched in 2018. The first launch, an 800-kilogram electro-optical infrared satellite, is scheduled for the end of 2023 on a Falcon 9 rocket. The remaining satellites are due to be launched by 2025. This isn't the first satellite South Korea will hire SpaceX to launch. The communication satellite, called the Anasis-2, was launched in 2020 aboard SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. The aim of South Korea launching its spy satellites through SpaceX is to work towards building an independent space development for its country. SpaceX is a U.S. space company that transports people and satellites to space. The commercial space company is founded by Elon Musk with a mission that states, you want to wake up in the morning and think the future is going to be great. And that's what being a spacefaring civilization is all about. It's about believing in the future and thinking that the future will be better than the past. And I can't think of anything more exciting than going out there and being among the stars. The country's research institute, Korea Aerospace Research Institution and Agency for Defense Development, signed the contract to use SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket to transport their spy satellites. South Korea is looking forward to limiting its reliance on foreign intelligence and improving the military ability of the nation. South Korea is known to have a long-time military alliance with the United States and acquired its own chain of satellites without depending entirely on the U.S. South Korea has made two launches over the years, the first launched in 2020 by SpaceX. It was a military communication satellite called the Anasis-2 on board a Falcon 9 rocket. Then, in June, South Korea launched its first domestically developed rocket, built in hand with many local companies and engineers. This move is to create and test the country's ambition in building and launching aerospace and large missiles. It was a three-stage Nuri rocket that placed a functioning performance verification satellite at a target altitude of 435 miles after its liftoff from South Korea's Space Launch Center on a southern island. The satellite launch has placed South Korea as the 10th country in the world to launch a satellite into space with its own technology. Although South Korea had several attempts, this was the first successful one. Presently, the new contract with SpaceX has been signed, and the first satellite will be launched from the United States by 2023. The other four spy satellites will be launched by the end of 2025. Elon Musk has not reported or made mention of the contract signed by his space company SpaceX and South Korea. However, it is open knowledge that Elon Musk founded SpaceX in 2002, and he stated that, you want to wake up in the morning and think the future is going to be great, and that's what being a spacefaring civilization is all about. It's about believing in the future and thinking that the future will be better than the past. And I can't think of anything more exciting than going out there and being among the stars. SpaceX was founded to design, manufacture, and launch the most advanced rockets and satellites. The space company signs deals and contacts with interested industries, organizations, nations, or government bodies in transporting cargoes, space crews, or satellites. The launch vehicles used by SpaceX are Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and Starship. Although there is no direct speech made by the President of South Korea, the President has made it known that he supports the country's move by building rockets, launching satellites, and transforming into a space powerhouse. The South Korean President, Yoon suk yeol was said to have watched the launch of the three-stage rocket called Nuri from his office. He said, Now a path to space has been opened for the Republic of Korea. He also repeated the country would soon establish a national aerospace agency. To support this, it is discovered that South Korea is working with SpaceX to launch five spy satellites. Also, there are plans for a South Korean spacecraft to land on the moon by 2023. A spy satellite is a low-orbiting satellite used to monitor the Earth and collecting information for military or intelligence applications. The information is being gathered with the use of optical or radar systems. Spy satellites are launched by countries to gather intelligence on the military activities of other countries. Examples of countries that make use of spy satellites are the United States, Germany, Italy, Japan, the United Kingdom, etc. Around 1960, the United States began to launch spy satellites. These satellites were launched in a series and were used to take pictures. 
The first series of spy satellites launched was called the Discover series. The satellites in the Discover series took pictures of the polar orbits of the Earth. The second series was called the Keyhole or KH series. The main function of the KH series was to detect weapons and make surveillance. Pictures taken by the KH series are either of large masses of land or close pictures of specific objects. There are four major types of spy satellites. 1. Electronic Reconnaissance The function of these types of satellites is to read and record radio signals and transmissions while moving over a different country. 2. Photosurveillance It is mainly used to show photographs of military information of an enemy country. The photographs could either be shown in high or low regulation qualities. A high resolution photograph is sent with a re-entry capsule, with a low resolution one is sent with a radio. At times, radars are used in should these military's activities in the dark. 3. Early Warning Satellite This is used to detect missiles launched by enemies or enemy countries. 4. Nuclear Explosion Detection This satellite is made specifically for detecting nuclear explosions that occur in space. There are actually two major advantages of having spy satellites launched in space. 1. Intelligence Information Countries interested in gathering military information on the military activities of foreign countries use the spy satellites. 2. Security Purposes Spy satellites detect missile launches or harmful attacks launched by enemy countries. By doing this, the countries can prepare against these attacks or find ways to prevent them. Though spy satellites are beneficial for military purposes, we can't erase the fact that there are also disadvantages. 1. High Cost Spy satellites are expensive. The cost of developing, launching, and maintaining is high. Every satellite also differs according to its purpose, making them more costly than the other. 2. Communications Issues When satellites are launched, there is no guarantee that there will be no interruptions whatsoever. Also, there is no way to make repairs if any satellite gets faulty. 3. Privacy Invasion This is the major danger of having spy satellites that many people are concerned about. At times, satellites are used to steal top-class information, which could lead to espionage or illegal spying of businesses in other foreign countries. It isn't new that South Korea has signed a contract with a U.S. private and commercial space company known as SpaceX. The project is worth $970 million and is headed by the Korea Aerospace Research Institute, an agency for defense development. The first spy satellite to be launched by the end of 2023 was developed by the Korea Aerospace Research Institute, while the other four were developed by the Agency for Defense Development. Do you think that this project will become successful by the time of launching? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.